Morning guys, welcome to the first day of Vlogtober. God damn it. Three seconds in and I've already screwed up. It's not Vlogtober, it is Vlogmas. I can't believe it. It's the 1st of December. Christmas can now officially start, although I've been getting quite excited for it for a little while now. I feel like the magic of Christmas comes back when you have children because you're kind of excited to do it for them. If there's weird noises in the background that's because I've got Eagle Piggle on at the moment. Because we've discovered that Delilah likes Eagle Piggle and I know they shouldn't have too much screen time. I gather that it's not going to damage her too much considering I do a lot of play with her anyway. It's not like I put her in front of the telly and then I don't interact with her all day. It's literally just so I can make myself a coffee and have a bit of breakfast. So yeah if you hear weird noises that's that's what's going on. So I got myself a coffee because I really needed it this morning. Her sleep's been getting a lot better and through no rhyme or reason it's just gotten better. I found that actually you can do lots of things to try and make them sleep and they're just, if they want to sleep, they're asleep. She'll go through good periods and bad periods. That was definitely her worst that she just went through for, for about eight weeks of just waking up every hour and now she's only waking up a couple of times at night so that's quite nice but um yeah i'm feeling really tired just because i had lots of work to get done last night so i didn't go to bed when delilah went to bed and then i couldn't really get to sleep very well last night so yes coffee is needed and for breakfast i'm eating gingerbread cookies i'm not even going to say that this is one off this pretty much happens every morning. We've got a couple of hours until we need to leave for her sensory class. I'm gonna go into her bedroom and have a little play and then I'll give her a feed and then we'll get ready and head out. I've already been sicked up on, as you can see from this lovely spit up stain on my top. I changed her nappy, picked her up and she just went block all down me and her. You're squeaking it, it's Oh, did I say hello? Let's turn it, you're going to pick her off. Can I say hello? Good morning. <laughs> I can't believe how much she's growing every day, aren't you? And yesterday, out of nowhere, just started rolling onto her side. And she is gra just grabbing everything now. She she's just hands out, arms out. Grab, 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 give to me, give to me. Give to me, isn't it? If I drink this, she'll want it. Look. Whoa. <laughs> you can't have it, you silly Billy. It's like every time I'm feeding her and I drink my water, her hand goes up and she's like, give to me, aren't you? I love this little sleep suit. It's 100% organic cotton and it's from Mango and I love it. Nice and comfy, isn't it? I get asked about how baby grows all the time. My favourite places for baby grows are definitely M&S. M&S do good baby grows, reasonably priced, great quality, wash well and last a long time too. And yeah, and then she has like a couple from Mini Bowden and uh, this one being from Mango. Mummy's definitely going to shut up now. Oh, now you want the camera, don't you? Oh, little hand on the lens. Little hand on the lens. Oh, that's... A... <laughs> you want the camera? Give it turn over. <laughs> oh, almost. He almost had it. Uh, oh. So yesterday she was doing this and then she'd she'd grab the ball like this and then she'd just roll to her side but she's not quite mastering that this morning. <laughs> you love that ball, don't you? It's so squishy. It's a bit squishy. Oh. Somehow you've managed to go from here to now here. Where are you wiggling to? <laughs> way, way, there we go. Oh. She was rolling to her side and actually staying there for a little bit. Showing everyone your long legs. You're working on those core stomach muscles. You're working on those tummy muscles. <laughs> Oh, there you can see her new bath. I'll show you it another time, but it is so good. You can just, well, not leave her in there. You obviously have to supervise her, but she can hold herself in that. You don't have to hold her. It's great and she loves it. 
don't you? Grab your toes. Yeah. Grab them. You got your toes. <laughs> yeah, that's a lovely smile. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it'll be long until she's rolling over. Just got this little munchkin staring at me. <laughs> don't kick me. Don't kick me. So cute that she plays with her feet now. You guys are going to see her hit a lot of milestones this month during Vlogmas. Did I call it Vlogtober again earlier? Damn it, do I? I need to stop calling it Vlogtober. <laughs> Are you trying to eat it now? Boo. There you go, you silly Billy. I'm trying to hide behind a lamppost because the sun is right in my eyes. We're waiting for a bus because I'm running a little bit late. Class starts pretty much now. I'm running late because I got a text from Doug's mum saying she could have Delilah for the afternoon if I wanted. So I thought, yeah, great, you can have it for the afternoon and I can get some bits done. It may be late because I had to defrost some breast milk and put it in a bottle. I had to get that done while I was trying to get ready and get Delilah ready. I had her in her mum's and papa's chair and she was watching me get her milk ready. Then she was having a bit of a grizzle. And then the next thing I know, I look at her and she's fallen asleep in her chair, like slumped over it. So I think she's really tired because she's not even woken up and I'm talking really loudly. We've just had about 20 minute walk into town. She didn't wake up for a split second. When I popped her in her pram to strap her in, she fell asleep like that. And normally she really puts up a fight. It's about a 40 minute walk to the class. So there's just no point in me walking, I might as well get a bus. So I'm hoping there's a bus soon. Are we on the bus? Hello, Jiggy Buggy. Peace and quiet didn't last too long. She only slept for about 20 minutes. And then she woke up. And then we were waiting at the bus stop for ages. So we're like half an hour late now. And she's been crying for the last 10 minutes. <laughs> So not only are we late, I've got to walk in with her screaming her head off. Oh dear. You do get yourself in a tiz sometimes. <laughs> the bus now and she won't stop crying i fed her at the end of class the class is actually shorter than i thought it was so instead of it being an hour it's 45 minutes so we were literally there for 15 minutes <laughs> Just picked up a Topshop parcel that I had delivered in store. Coming to prep, I got myself one of their veggie Christmas sandwiches. Delilah's fast asleep. Of course, when I need to feed her, she's asleep. Why are babies never awake when you need them to be? And then when you, when you, and then when you want them to be asleep, they don't go to sleep. Just met Doug's mum here. We're gonna have a coffee. I'm gonna have my sandwich while she's asleep, make the most of it. And then head back to get some bits done. Lila is now with her nana for the afternoon slash early evening. So before I head home, I popped into Topshop and picking up a few little bits. So now I'm back home. I thought I would show you what I got from Top Shop. I've also got some bits over here from Mini Bowden that are now all over the floor. <laughs> I just picked it up like that and everything's gone on the floor. But I have some bits from Mini Bowden that I got Delilah, so I'll show you those as well. I picked up these black flats. They've got these gold details on the bow. I just needed some new black shoes because my upper ones had holes where my toes were obviously rubbing against the ground. Got myself some 
jeans and these are the boyfriend jeans i wanted some lower rise baggy jeans i've picked these up in a 10 hopefully they fit if not then um i can get the next size down or the next size up i picked up this cream cable knit beanie it's so soft and fluffy i got this because i really needed a new hat for the winter and i have my cream one with a bobble on top but one i've had that for years i mean years i think i got it when i was 15 16 15 16 it's very tatty um, it's not that warm because it's just kind of falling apart but also i wanted a hat that didn't have a bobble on because if it's raining when i'm pushing the pram along i can't really use an umbrella so i always have to put my coat hood up but the problem with having a bobble on the top of your hat and putting the hood up is it either doesn't go over the bubble or you look ridiculous because you've got a massive gap where the bubble is and it makes your head look like it's this long it just doesn't look right so i needed a hat that was flat that i could put hoods over the top with so i've just picked up this one and then i bought a couple of t-shirts so one <laughs> surprise surprise is stripey and the other one is in this pink blushy color so i'll link all of these in the description along with the other stuff that i'm going to mention so the bits that i ordered from top shop to collect are a couple of tops because i had quite a few christmas party stuff happening this month i wanted sort of a slightly dressier top to be able to wear i didn't want to go all fancy and wear heels and a dress and things but i wanted to go kind of like cool smart casual look nice but not really done up if that makes any sense this one with all these ruffles it looks quite big though i had to get a 12 i was gonna get an 8 or a 10 and even though it said it was in stock when i went to go check out it kept saying out of stock so i had to get it in a 12 and i think this is just gonna be too big for me and the other one and i think i'm probably going to like this one is this lace cream top actually i really like this one i'm probably if this looks nice on i'll probably go for this one and just send this white one back from mini bowden the main thing i bought is this gorgeous purple dress it's velvet up top it's got a velvet bow here little puffy sleeves it's just so sweet she'll need a cardigan over the top because it's got short sleeves although actually when we're indoors she probably won't and she can just wear this with little white tights and then i just got a couple of long sleeve bodies for her so she's already got this in cream they're so handy and these ones in particular are so lovely i thought they were just going to be your bog standard cotton sort of like this material but they're really they really they kind of feel like thermals they're so so soft i did want to buy this in every single color but um they sold out of the other one so they only had the gray and then i got pretty much the same one but it's this cream one with a pink velvet bow and it's stripey and i don't know if you can see but the stripes are slightly shimmery that's my little impromptu haul for you guys so good to get some bits done that i just wanted to get done the bedroom sorted and i've put all my clothes away and i've put the wash in that's been dried on the area for days away and folded in drawers i've taken rubbish out i've done some emails some invoices started editing this vlog i've pumped because obviously delilah would usually feed and it's been a few hours so um i've just pumped to make my body think that it's been feeding her but also it means that i've replaced the milk that i defrosted today so i've got some milk in the freezer for days like today when i needed it and i couldn't have pumped with her here because she wouldn't sit and patiently watch me pump so i always like to have at least a bottle of milk in the freezer doug's gonna pick delilah up on his way home so i still have about an hour to myself here so i'm gonna make the most of it and have a shower and wash my hair Before Delilah and Doug get home, which is going to be quite soon, I'm going to try and get my hair dry and straightened before they get back. And then if I have time after that, which I probably am not going to, but if I do, I'm going to 
whip around the flat with the hoover quickly but to be honest i've managed to get quite a lot done it feels really nice to just kind of recharge my batteries just kind of have some time to myself get some bits that i needed to get done and then i feel fresh and ready to go again never feel guilty for letting someone look after your baby with delilah for example she's with her grandparents she's only ever been looked after by her grandparents either by my mum or dog's parents or her great grandma on my side of the family so she's with people that i can trust and they know what they're doing especially dog's mum who's a midwife and delilah delilah loves her grandparents she's happy with them it's good for her because when she's a little bit older she hopefully won't be upset when she's babysat by her grandparents because she'll she'll know them well and she'll be used to it and then that builds confidence for her when it comes to going to nursery and preschool and things like that um, i think it's good i think it's good for both baby and mum it means i can recharge my batteries and sort of just breathe and start afresh you know happy mum happy baby and um, i say that just because there are some people out there will make mums and dads feel terrible for having babysitters especially when your baby's say only a few months old i mean delilah's four months now but you know screw them she's my baby your child is your child you do what works for you and if you don't feel comfortable with your child being babysat just yet then that's absolutely fine as well anyway i'm gonna get my hair done gonna have to excuse my red cheeks i don't know why my cheeks are so red delilah and doug are home and for the first time ever delilah is in her bedroom amusing herself usually even if i leave the room for like 10 seconds she will start to scream but the last couple of days i've noticed that she's paying attention to toys that she didn't even like even a couple of weeks ago and i bought this um Thing from ikea what are they called like one of the arches with stuff that dangles down she was never interested in those up until about three days ago and now she can sort of reach them and play with them and she sort of kicks them with her legs and touches them with her hands and she's just in her bedroom on her own playing with it let's spy on her Right, finally time for bed and finally time to end this vlog. It's gonna take me so long to edit this. I'm probably gonna end up cutting out loads because I have talked so much. Doug's just getting Delilah in her pajamas and I'm gonna clean my teeth and then go to bed. <laughs> Jim jams and your sleeping bag on. So, good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. We'll see you guys tomorrow for day two of Vlogmas.